Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel, where I'm continuing my bowl previews. I'm previewing all 35 bowl games right here on my YouTube channel, so be sure to check out my other videos. Subscribe to my channel here to get all of my sports talk videos delivered directly to your inbox. Up next is the Russell Athletic Bowl, which will be played down in Florida at the Florida Citrus Bowl. It'll pit the Rutgers Scarlet Knights versus the Virginia Tech Hokies. Rutgers comes in with a record of 9-3 and out of the Big East and Virginia Tech with a record of 6-6 six and six out of the ACC. Uh, for Virginia Tech, definitely a disappointing season. I mean, you have a team who had its quarterback returning and who went 6-6 six and six after being in the, sh in the uh, Sugar Bowl uh, last season. So definitely a disappointing season for Virginia Tech. I think it all starts and ends with their offense. Uh, Logan Thomas, only 17 touchdowns and 14 interceptions. Uh, definitely not the season uh, that people were expecting from him. I know probably the, the Virginia Tech fans were not expecting a season like this from him either. Uh, Virginia Tech had to win its last two games just to get bowl eligible. Uh, they've been behind in all but three games they've played so far up to this point at halftime. So just their offense from every point of view uh, has not really been up to standard this year. There's been a lot of rumors that after the season concluded that Frank Beamer is going to pretty much revamp his entire offensive coaching staff. Uh, with that said, you know, if I'm hearing the rumors, if these rumors are on different websites, uh, you know the coaches are hearing them too. And these coaches are in a situation now where uh, they basically feel probably they're under lame duck status here for a full month uh, from when the regular season ends through the bowl game. So did they spend more times more time shining their resumes and getting them ready for other jobs or really preparing uh, for Rutgers? Uh, Rutgers has a stingy defense, and Virginia Tech doesn't have a good offense to begin with. So I really question uh, the preparedness that went into this game from, from an offensive standpoint for Virginia Tech and how focused the whole program was on going from playing in the Sugar Bowl last year to now to the Russell Athletic Bowl uh, this year. Uh, Virginia Tech's a team in the last decade plus that has been to uh, you know, New Year's Day, multiple New Year's Day games, multiple BCS games, uh, even a title game appearance back in the early 2000s with Michael Vick. So, uh, again, those are my concerns with Virginia Tech. As far as Rutgers goes, uh, Rutgers is a team, 9-3. and three, they, they dropped their season finale game uh, to Louisville in a close game. They lost, so now Louisville won the tie break, uh, won the Big East title. They're going to a BCS Bowl, and Rutgers' consolation prize is the Russell Athletic Bowl. Uh, Rutgers is in a completely different situation than Virginia Tech. Uh, they're trying to get to 10 wins, which is a big deal for the uh, Rutgers program. They have a first-year coach in Kyle Flood uh, who will be looking, you know, t to, you know t for him to get 15, 16 extra practices or even more than that because their last game was the end of November. For him to get this many practices heading into the bowl season is a positive thing. They have a young team. Uh, they're led by a, a freshman quarterback, Gary Nova, okay, and running back Jawan Jamison. Okay, Nova is not great yet. Uh, he's been serviceable. Uh, he's been a good quarterback uh, given the fact, you know, he's been good at managing the game, good at not making the big mistake because their defense has been great all season. Uh, they average very high in the NCAA in points given up per game. They only give up a little over 14 points per game. Uh, they've been steady all season, has the Rutgers defense. And, you know, defense usually remains a constant no matter how big the layoff is or, or anything like this. And I think that when you have a Virginia Tech team whose offensive line is not as good as it's been in years past and the running game is not as good as it has been in years past, I think that's the big thing, big difference for Virginia Tech is that Logan Thomas, uh, is he a dual-threat quarterback? Yeah, uh, in, in the sense of the word where he can run and throw. But I think when he has no help with no running game, uh, David Wilson going to the pros last year, I think that's been a big difference is uh, his inability to really carry the whole offense. And, uh, look, coaches could play, pay for it with their job this offseason, as I was talking about before. So I just like uh, – the only thing that makes me nervous about Rutgers is the fact that, you know, their offense – you know, if the Virginia Tech's defense is still competent, it's still pretty good. They still have Bud Foster, who's an excellent defensive coordinator. He's had a lot of time to prepare for Rutgers. If Virginia Tech's players are motivated, uh, you know, I think they have the capability uh, to hold Rutgers certainly under 20 points. 
But I look at that Rutgers defense, and I just really like their motivation to play in this game, and I like them against the Virginia Tech offense. So I'm actually good. This game is right now has Virginia Tech installed as two-point favorites. I'm going to take Rutgers plus the two here in the Russell Athletic Bowl. So I like Rutgers to get to those 10 wins for Kyle Flood uh, to get to his 10th win as the first year in the first year as coach of the Scarlet Knights. So again, Rutgers to make it five. Uh, if Rutgers has five bowl wins uh, in a row, so I like Rutgers to make it six bowl wins in a row in the Russell Athletic Bowl uh, over uh, Virginia Tech. Be sure to check out my other bowl previews here. Uh, subscribe to my page here, and also uh, catch me on Twitter as well at S News Analysis. Thanks, guys.